Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use scientific notation on the Casio FX83 GTX ClassWiz calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key. It looks like this located here. The menu setup key that looks like this located here. The times 10 to the X key that looks like this located here the S to D key or conversion key that looks like this located here and the negative key that looks like this located here. We can use scientific notation on this calculator to make really large or really small numbers a little more manageable. It allows us to write a number like 150,000 like this 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5. Normally when we enter a number like this on our calculator, it'll just appear with all the zeros as we wrote it. But if we want to get it to appear in scientific notation mode like this, what we need to do is press Shift Menu, then number 3 for number format, and then choose number 2 for scientific notation mode. It'll then ask us to select 0 to 9. This is how many digits we want to appear. Well, if we have it like this and we want two digits, we'll press 2. Now, if we enter 150,000, press equals, we see it appears like this, 1.5 times 10 to the power of 5. This also works for very small numbers, like let's say we had 0 0.0001 and wanted to convert it to scientific notation. To do that, we can just enter that number on our screen, press equals while in scientific notation mode, and this calculator likes to give us fractions, so you might get this. But if you press the conversion key or S to D key, you'll see it'll change to scientific notation mode which for this one is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. That negative means the decimal moves backwards. If we're done with this and want to go back to normal mode, we can do that by again pressing Shift Menu, choosing number 3 for number format, and then choosing number 3 for norm or normal mode. So we'll press 3. It'll ask us to choose normal mode 1 or normal mode 2. We want 2 in this example. We're now back to our standard mode on this calculator. But what if we were given the number in scientific notation and wanted to convert it back to normal notation? To do that in normal mode, what we can do is enter it like this. So 1.5 and then we use the times 10 to the x key. That represents this. And then the exponent. For this one that's 5. So we go 5 and press equals and we see that's the same as 150,000. It works the same for very small numbers. Let's say we were given this 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 and wanted to enter that on our calculator. Well we go 1 times 10 to the x then negative 4. It's important to use the negative key not the subtraction key for this. So negative 4, press equals, and again it gave us it, the answer in a fraction, and if we convert that we see now it's the decimal. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there everybody!